guys, today I'm doing a care video on roaches. And in this enclosure, I have my Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Here's a couple. It's a bunch of babies too. This guy's my big guy that just molted, Vincent Price. He's really sweet. And as for their care, it's it's pretty simple. Um, you just have to make sure it stays nice and humid. And how I keep humidity in is I put aluminum tape on half of the top, half of the lid, and it helps keep some of the moisture in. And I spray it down once a day, mostly on one side. I spray it down really good on this side and then just a little bit over here. It keeps it right where it needs to be. And as for food, they eat pretty much anything. Just like the beetles, they'll eat fruit, veggies, and they do need protein like dog food, cat food, fish flakes, they'll eat anything like that, egg whites, uh, baby foods. And uh, I give mine water crystals for water, but you gotta make sure that they stay really moist and wet because if they dry up and they eat them they they could die from it expanding in their stomachs so you don't want that you just have to make sure it stays really moist i also have some little isopods and springtails in here There's some babies so they're breeding pretty well in here and i also keep some heat on them, I just use a small heat pad on the side where they congregate most. And they can go over here to keep a little cool. It stays usually around 80, uh, high 70s, low 80s. So, and then there's my little Halloween hisser in here. He's my only one in here. That's, that's Otis. This poor little guy. Oops. Where'd you go? There you go. He's missing some feet. Poor little guy. So he he makes it around just fine. I thought, I honestly thought he wasn't going to make it when I got him. But I got him in October and he's still going strong. Except I drop him all the time. But <laughs> I'm kidding. But anyway, that's pretty much all you need to know for them. I sprayed them down a good bit. There's another isopod running. Try not to get much water in the food because it'll spoil easier. But spray it down really good every night. And there we go. Yeah, um uh, I do not plan on breeding, so whenever these little ones get older, I'm going to separate them from I get a separate enclosure for males and females and if I do de decide on breeding I will pick select ones to breed just because I don't want to be overwhelmed with a huge colony but for now they're they're too young to breed and all the adults are males so yep, and that's it for them so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back up I'll show you some domino roaches, some domino roach care. These are all just babies right now. Let's see if I can find, I saw a little one in here earlier. I'll show you what the little nymphs look like. Normally I don't do this, I just leave them be, but I'm gonna give them a little bit of a bother just to show you guys. Here's one. Oh, 
sorry for the weird camera angles. <laughs> Let's see, where did he go? Oh, here he is. Yeah, he is, and he's just a, a baby. She's a little nymph, and basically as nymphs, they live their their life in the substrate. They will just live deep down in the substrate until they become adults, and then they will come out. So I'm just going to leave him in there. And they do need uh, dried foliage, because that is what they eat on mostly and you can put in vegetables and fruits for for treats but honestly they probably won't eat them as nymphs they just will kind of just chow down on the foliage and stuff so and I don't keep a little water dish in here I spray down every other night spray down really good and because they usually don't even touch the water so but I keep it nice so they can they can uh, drink little droplets off the sides and everything. So yeah, um, they probably won't eat much else until they get until they grow to adults. And I keep it like I said, I spray it down really good every other night. Spray it down really good. But, and you want it to dry out a little bit, but I usually just spray it down once every other day, and they do just fine. So yeah, that's it for, for these guys. Yeah, the domino roaches are pretty easy, especially as nymphs, because you never see them. <laughs> it's pet substrate. But, um can't wait till they become adults and I can see them and they are really pretty when they become adults they are they have they're black with white spots which gives them the domino roach name and they almost look like beetles and they're just they're really really pretty so I'm really looking forward to seeing them turn into adults all right and I guess that's it for this video um, if you guys have any other questions or want to see any more care videos please let me know. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for bearing with me. I don't do this very often, as you could probably tell. <laughs> so uh, that's it. Thank you. Bye.